What's up, LEGO fans? Welcome back. Alex here. Hey, check it out. We've got the new January 2021 catalog, definitely featuring their city, uh, new city sets, emphasizing the fact that, hey, we've got different road plates. Check us out. We're cool now, right? Down here, we see over 75 new sets, which means we might see, I don't know, three, four, maybe even five good ones. I know that's pessimistic to say, but you guys got to know, I'm looking at this from an adult fan of LEGO perspective. Um, so if I, I guess if I, okay, I got to do better here. I'm going to look at this more as a, as a fan of LEGO for all ages. So I will say over 75 new sets and maybe 20 or so good ones. We open up the cover here. It was an extended cover. Check this out. Ooh, wow. Uh, really featuring these new road plates. Man, they're hammering this hard on us, on us, aren't they guys? And you know what? They look all right in that setup. I'll admit looks cool. And you know what? Let me open this up here. See this, all the new uh, city Lego sets. Um, most of those are going to be fire or rescue police or whatever. But this is animated. Why is this animated? I think Lego should have created a, a real looking Lego city with featuring all these sets in it. Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be a play on the uh, uh, maybe a video game. There's a lot of interesting characters doing interesting things like this guy's got a cloud raining on him. That looks terrible. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm missing something there. You guys can fill me in if I am. Turn the page and we see the road plates. I'll have to get, I saw a lot of people buying these on the first of the year and I, it sold out online fairly quick as well. I'll catch up and get one eventually to see what it's all about. Here we have another police station. I think this is what the 247th one that we've seen from Lego is some or other. I'm being a little facetious, of course, but a hundred dollars. And I got to say, this is probably the most disappointing Lego police station I have seen in 20 years. Uh, there's the piece count is fairly, it looks like those blocky pieces that we got uh, around the year 2000. They were really going through a yucky phase. And this reminds me of that so much. I was expecting to see this four plus on this as well uh, because of that low police. It just looks very blocky. It looks very easy to put together. Uh, but anyway, just my opinion. Moving on to the next page, we see yet again, this they're just pushing this Lego set, this $200 city set, which uh, again, I've told you guys my opinion on this before, which isn't really good. It looks cool in this picture because of all the stuff around it. But if you get the set you'll, and put it together, you'll be kind of disappointed at what you get. Um, but again, just my opinion. Celebrate the Chinese New Year. Celebrate Lunar New Year. Really, really cool. $80 for this set. A lot of cool stuff in here. A lot of uh, interesting characters. I like this dragon. That's pretty fun. Uh, I love the fireworks. That's pretty cool as well. Turn the page. We've got Super Mario. They are really pushing this thing, aren't they? All these sets that don't include Mario himself. Isn't that fun? I love the NES. You guys know that. Dots. A lot of kids love dots. Uh, there was a lot of kids in line at the Lego store at the first of the year that wanted the new dot sets. So Lego's doing well with that. And then we have, I guess Minecraft's still doing really well for them because they keep coming out with these new Minecraft sets. Uh, my teenager, Josh, as you guys know, um, he likes Minecraft, but he would much rather play the game than collect the Lego sets. So that's just um, our approach on these things. So we don't really collect those at all. Friends, I got to say, these friends sets look really good. Uh, so if you're collecting friends, this is a good uh, page for you to see. I like the cinema. Really cool. Friends, uh, this one, this page I will say right here, uh, you got this electric car right here, you know, very uh, eco-friendly, right? And then you have this massive RV down here that's no doubt only a gas guzzler. I just love, I love the fact that they put those right next to each other. Disney, Frozen, yeah, moving right along. Ninjago, now what's, okay, these, they're coming out with these limited edition minifigures. They look really, really cool as collectibles, but I don't want to, buy the whole set just to get the minifigure. That might be what I have to do or uh, pay out the yin yang to get one of these guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I, I just want the minifigs ba basically. But this, woo, I want this. This is the new Ninjago modular. And this thing, look at all these minifigures. I had a video about this, about the leaked uh, footage or video or pictures that we got from the uh, our friends up north. Confirmed 300 US dollars, so that's good. I thought some people said it might be about 350, so 300 I think is the same price as Ninjago City was when that first came out. And this, you get a limited edition Golden Woo. I'm I'm doing some woo woo for that because that's going to be a cool minifigure to have. But all these minifigures, um, quite a bit. I mean, it's kind of a city in itself. It looks fantastic, a very um, futuristic uh, cyberpunk kind of look is what I said, and uh, it looks good. And let's see, it comes out January 14th. 
uh, set widely available on February 1st. I'll try to get this thing, man, 300 bucks. Yeah, this is why I have no money. Goodness, but a lot of great stuff with this. I, mean, I, I wish there was more pictures of this. I wish we could see the back of it or some sides to see what that looks like because the front looks fantastic and the fact they don't have other pictures, maybe the back doesn't look good. I don't know, we'll see. Modulars going strong. New modular right here, the police station. So we've got four modulars that are all actively available right now. Assembly Square, this might be the last year we see Assembly Square, so get it while you can. These were a hit uh, in the Lego store on the first of the year. A lot of people are picking up the bonsai tree. The bonsai tree is cool. I thought we will pick that up eventually. 50 bucks, that's not too bad for what you get. I think you can switch out the leaves to the green ones there as well. Uh, wasn't such a fan of this. I mean, it looks cool. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Good timing, Lego. Very good. But I got to say, they look pretty darn good. Um, you know, again, 50 bucks if you're into that thing. Go for it. The Coliseum, uh, I've heard a rumor that we might get an 11 thousand piece UCS Star Wars set this year. Just a rumor, but you know how rumors go with Lego. Sometimes, most of the times they're not true. Um, but you know what? I would love that. I would love to see this thing um, dethroned as the largest Lego piece or Le Lego set in terms of piece count. Um, but the rumor is that it might be a Death Star um, that's got 11,000 pieces and costs around 800 US dollars. So time will tell, right? This is a cool page. I love all these sets. I have these sets. The uh, the crocodile's great. This, I think out of these three, this is my favorite. The Ghostbusters Ecto-1 is a super, super cool set. And I'm going to get a light kit for this thing, guys. So stay tuned for that. I think it's going to be really, really cool um, to see that thing all lit up. All right, turn the page here, guys. Diagon Alley, as you guys know, is $400. It's expensive, but I will say it again, worth every penny. Great great set. People were going crazy for these. These are the um, the new Hogwarts uh, moments uh, for each school. Very much sold out. I do want these and I'll get them eventually, but I wasn't um, going crazy to get them on day one. Um, but man, those are, those are fantastic. Love them. All right. These are cool too. Um, you can create the, uh, the crests for the school. Uh, these... What's tough is that, I mean, what if you want all of them? You know, that's 120 bucks each. That can get pretty expensive, but this is pretty cool too. You can do one display like that. That might be what you're in for. All right, Star Wars sets, uh, Grogu, now that we have his name. Uh, let's see, hopefully I didn't spoil that for anybody. He likes, spoiler alert. Great Star Wars sets. And you know what? I will say this about the um, the X Wing and these these old uh, these sets that keep getting recycled. Uh, people don't really like the fact that they keep coming out with the same set over and over and over again, making slight differences or variation of color and size. Um, but the first one came out back in what 1999, and a lot of people who are collecting Star Wars now weren't even alive back then. So I think it's a good move for Lego to keep coming out and rehashing uh, these these sets, these classic sets, especially these two in particular. Uh, because if you didn't get the chance uh, to collect them originally, then now is your chance. Just like me with the UCS Millennium Falcon. I, I couldn't afford 500 bucks back in 2005, but for some reason I could afford $800 as an adult. So I'm glad they did that. All right, I got this finally, guys. I haven't built it yet, um, but uh, here, here it is, the Moss Eisley Cantina, fantastic. In fact, a lot of you guys were asking me to do uh, live stream builds, and I'm working on getting that set up, and I think this might be the first live stream build that I do, so stay tuned for that. All right, we got some cool, oh, the McLaren Senate. This was a little small. I, wanted, I wish the Senate was bigger, at least this size. That would have been so cool. Uh, it's just too small. Uh, this one looks good. This one looks like the uh, the Porsche 911 GTR build or scale, I will say. A lot of stickers on this. I think if I got this, I don't know that I'd put all those stickers on it. It is littered with stickers, and you guys know how I feel about stickers. I don't like them. Anyway, what is that? 170 bucks? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, these Technic vehicles are pretty fun. This I want to get an RC card. It's just so I can uh, experience these these new um, uh, powered up motors and stuff like that, but they're so darn expensive. Look at this buggy. It's so simple and small, but it's $130. My goodness, those things are expensive. Um, oh yeah, the uh, the minifigure series 21. I uh, definitely want the uh, uh, the space police guy, because you guys know me. Let me move the camera up here. I love collecting the space marines. They're so cool. I don't know why, I just love that. And uh, this guy is, is right up my alley on that. All right, uh, Mindstorm, yeah, speaking of expensive, 360 bucks. Oh, you guys, I was so close to buying this, the Grand Piano. It was there, 
Um, I, I was seriously considering it, but I balked at the price again. A lot of you guys said it's worth the money, and you know what? I probably will get it. Just, uh, man, that's a serious investment, right? Oh, yeah, this is another set that I bought that I haven't built yet. I'll get there eventually. What what stopped me was the, the design. It's It looks like it's a very unique shape, that L shape. Might be tough to fit in the city. Anyway, let's see. Let's move on. Yeah, Spider-Man, Avengers. Um, this was different. Eternals, this ship, uh, Rise of the Domo. I'm not actually very familiar with Eternals, but this got quite uh, a reaction from a lot of fans. And I got to say, it looks pretty cool. And I'm looking at this picture here. There's a lot of moving parts and elements of that. And we go to the very back and we have Mickey Mouse. But no, it's not just Mickey. You can make Minnie as well, or you can have both for twice the price. That is the new catalog. Now, I got to say, something's missing in here, and it's um, the um, the New Year, the Chinese New Year. There's a, uh, a spring garden uh, set coming out um, for $120, I think, uh, very soon, like next week. And, yeah, it looked like this. I thought it would be right here with it, but it's not in the catalog. But LEGO has it on their website that it's coming out soon, uh, and I'm planning on picking that up. But I was a little surprised that they didn't put it in this catalog. But anyway, all right, guys, well, that's it for me. It's, thank you so much for watching. This is the new January 2021 catalog uh, walkthrough. Some pretty cool stuff in here. And you know what? I was right. There's like three to four, maybe five good sets. I mean, come on. Again, my perspective, guys. I know there's a lot of great stuff in here, as you guys know. Um, but that's it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.